Liz Shrum of the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. Brought to you by Grant Thornton, Whitehurst Beck Dudek, and Madison Gas and Electric. On today's show, Tom Still asks whether people in Wisconsin have a right to broadband coverage. And Paul Jaden, Secretary of the State Department of Commerce, talks about the future of his agency and its role in economic development. I'll be right back with the WISBusiness.com stock report for early February. Please hold. Your call is very important. Does it seem like getting technical advice from business advisors can, well, take some time? At Grant Thornton, client access to partners has made them one of the largest accounting firms in the country. Grant Thornton. And now, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report. Rising, Orion Energy Systems. The Manitowoc-based energy technology company gets a boost from a presidential visit. It happens a day after the State of the Union address in which President Obama focuses on what he calls winning the future. Obama applauds Orion and other Manitowoc firms as examples of innovative businesses in which the country needs to continue investing. Orion's stock price spiked along with the presidential visit. And falling, financial health. For the fourth consecutive year, bankruptcies increase in Wisconsin. Last year saw about 30,000 filings, an increase of more than 9% over 2009. That closely mirrors the national increase. The vast majority of filings, more than 80%, were under Chapter 7. Those filings are aimed at eliminating debts on credit cards, medical care, and utilities. That's the WISBusiness.com stock report. Go to WISBusiness.com for more on these and other stories. And now, here's Tom Still with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. We live in a society that values its historic constitutional rights and which sometimes aspires to create new rights, justified or not. Take the ongoing federal debate over health care reform, which comes down to whether Americans accept the existence of a right to health care. The next public policy debate in Wisconsin will explore another potential right, the right to broadband coverage. The State Public Service Commission has agreed to look into a request by residents of the Dane County town of Barrie to force a private carrier to offer high-speed internet coverage. It is a case that could have statewide implications for people living in rural areas, telecom providers, and state government itself. The town of Barrie is a rural community of about 1,100 people northwest of Madison, one of the most intensely wired cities in Wisconsin. Many residents in Barrie have coveted high-speed internet service for years, but the town's rolling topography and the cost of installing broadband cable for relatively few customers led the town's local carrier, TDS Telecom, to say no. Residents of Barrie want the commission to order TDS to provide the service for which the residents would pay once it's available. The complaint says the lack of high-speed internet affects virtually every aspect of daily life in Barrie, from the ability of people to work from home, to their children's education, to property values, to access to emergency services. Executives at TDS Telecom say they understand the power and value of high-speed internet connections in today's world, but insist some places are simply too costly to serve. Make no mistake, high-speed internet is fast becoming an essential communications tool, but is broadband a right that deserves government sanction? That's the question facing the Public Service Commission. The town of Barrie is rural, but also somewhat exurban a home to farmers as well as professionals who are likely to work in nearby Madison. Some moved to Barrie in recent years because they liked its rural character, a choice that presumably came with full knowledge there would be trade-offs between lifestyle and convenience. The flip side of the argument is that the definition of reasonably adequate service appears to have changed seemingly overnight with the Internet. State rules governing telecom companies have yet to keep pace with the digital revolution by and large. Wisconsin telephone companies are still regulated by costly rules that apply primarily to landlines, which are slowly disappearing from use. Proposals to modernize Wisconsin's telecom laws would help relieve carriers of those burdens and clear the way for more investment in broadband, wireless, and other technologies. As the Commission reviews the Town of Barrie case, it should consider the possibility that updating state law could transform a debate over rights to a discussion about greater digital opportunity for all. Thanks, Tom. The Secretary of the Wisconsin Department of Commerce talks about the future of the agency next. We'll be right back. White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Wisconsin Secretary of Commerce Paul Jaden. He was appointed about a month ago by Governor Scott Walker. 
Thanks for joining us, Secretary Jaden. Thanks for having me. How did your background as mayor of Green Bay and executive director of the Green Bay Chamber of Commerce prepare you for your latest role? Well, clearly, as we look at uh, reorganizing commerce, it's going to be very important that we include the municipal organizations and the chambers of commerce, as well as the regional structures. So as I look back to my time as mayor of Green Bay, when we had a director of economic development and then a vice president of economic development at the Chamber of Commerce, and then ultimately participating in the establishment of the New North, all of those experiences are going to play into the way I try to restructure to take better advantage of the locals and the regions uh, to serve our initiatives here in Madison and then also to have a better handle on how we're able to serve them. Wisconsin's economy is built around many sectors, but one of the fastest growing in recent years has been the tech sector. Tell us why life sciences, information technology, clean tech, and advanced manufacturing are vital for Wisconsin. Well, first of all, I think all manufacturing in Wisconsin is advanced at this point. There's uh, no such thing as the, the uh, old manufacturing that a lot of people like to refer to. Uh, second of all, there's a, there's a couple of reasons that this is critical to us. First of all, uh, obviously, it's the area that's uh, growing most rapidly internationally uh, in an area that is uh, most competitive, and we need to, to uh, keep up with that competition. But it's also an area that here in Wisconsin, when you look at our uh, education system and all of the resources that we have available, it's an area that we should thrive in. It's an area that we should be able to compete better than, uh, uh, than our peers. Uh, so it's going to be something that uh, is going to be critical to our overall mission as we attempt to grow jobs in general. Governor Walker wants to revamp the Commerce Department into a new public-private authority called the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. Tell us how that will help Wisconsin. Well, it's, it's going to be a situation in which we're going to be much more nimble, uh, much more agile and, and responsive. Uh, in, in the very short tenure I have with Commerce, I've already been able to see that there are businesses that have specific needs. They look at our standard package. They look at the process we've put them through and we're not able to respond as quickly as some other states, and we're not able to respond with some of the same sorts of tools that other states have. So uh, that's the primary thing I want to achieve out of this corporation. Uh, it will also be governed by a, a private sector board with some legislative involvement, uh, and that'll give us the ability to uh, go back to a board rather than through a legislative process, uh, and it'll be able, allow us to create some tools that we don't have today. Uh, and I think, in general, uh, we're, we're going to have the ability to uh, address a very specific uh, corporate needs that we're not able to today. Thanks, Paul. And thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, and MG&E. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Schrum. See you next time.